Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to talk about a new feature that's in a purview as uh, called user defined functions in uh, mapping data flow. This is very exciting and uh, I like this uh, actually because uh, I came with a background for, for SSIS uh, and uh, we've been, uh, you know, every package you have to write expressions, sometimes you have to write the functions and uh, uh, one of the things we are missing, you have to uh, kind of, you know, recopy the code over and over. So it was not like, oh, I write, I can write the expression in uh, SSIS project and then keep using in multiple uh, packages. That was not really possibility to use it, uh, you know. Um, here, uh, in one of the thing is uh, uh, you have, uh, this is uh, actually great uh, with the data flow libraries. Um, now, you, uh, you will go here, you can write your uh, functions there and then use in different the pipelines so that's great so let me show you how exactly this can be done and how we will use it so here in a data factory I am right here in author and then actually I need to go to the manage first once I go to the manager then I will be going to the author here see the page here and then see this called the data flow libraries and it's called purview and once I click on this then I have this data flow libraries contain custom function compose you in the expression builder so you can use the expression builder to write your functions and this is especially helpful if you often find yourself combining function regularly in a data flows so if you have to use that in multiple data flows so you can just write it here and then keep using across your pipelines in data flow activities now what's gonna happen if you want to read more about it here you can click here it's gonna take you to this page and I will suggest you know you can take a look and see how exactly it works um, uh, and um, it give you more information but I'm gonna go ahead and perform this uh, for you anyways uh, now here uh, I will uh, go and say uh, I'm gonna give this uh, name I'm gonna call this FN and uh, then I'm gonna say full name so why I'm saying that because uh, I just want to concatenate two values always uh, with the first name and last name and let's put the space in middle and that's what I would like to do so I'm calling this uh, FN underscore full name now I, I will say concat or concat uh, two values you know or of or names okay so that's great my spellings are uh, probably really you know um, concat I don't know it's, it's e you're not there or whatever so anyways uh, you're gonna concat here now in this function what we are gonna do here we are gonna say new once you click on new it uh, asks you new data flow function again and the name so I don't know why it is asking us to uh, uh, provide the name again so new data flow library okay this is the name for library and then uh, you have uh, the name of function here okay fine new in this library I will say names you know uh, I'm gonna give this names here and the names library and the names uh, library will contain all those functions which are related to the name uh, type of columns uh, I want to deal with it so I'm gonna go ahead and say new and here I'm gonna call it fn full name so now I will write the expressions here open expression builder and now in the expression builder I can write my function so I'm gonna use the concat function here and uh, I'm uh, going to do three things uh, actually I'm gonna expect uh, uh, only let me cancel this out I'm gonna discard changes so here if you see I want to have some arguments uh, so I want to have two arguments uh, so see right here you say I won and uh, I can have a different type of uh, arguments or parameters here so there are tons of them but I am going to go with this string and then I'm gonna go with I2 that's it means I would like to pass two arguments to my uh, function and my function name is fn full name now I'm gonna go to the body here click on expression builder and here I'm going to provide that uh, definition so I'm gonna say concat and here I will say this and that remember so if you see right here arguments I can click on arguments and this is gonna show me those arguments so I can pass this argument here and then uh, I will pass the argument here so I1 comma I2 so concat but also I would like to put uh, some space between them uh, so I have just double quotes and then uh, use uh, here put the comma so if you notice here this is a I1 comma then space you know and then uh, uh, I2 so this is uh, my definition for my FN full name I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to hit save again 
now this is the my library new data flow library names and uh, b r a r y okay names library and i have this function here that's uh, the body is saying concat i1 argument 1 space argument 2 okay and the return type is a string so that's fine hit save and uh, you see right here i have this uh, library names here this was old i was working i'm going to delete that so i'm going to publish uh, this uh, anyways so once i publish it uh, okay it's published successfully i can click on names and here i can see all those uh, functions uh, i can add more functions here if i want so every time i add a function it asks me do you want to add more arguments and all that so under this library called names i can add multiple functions so it is kind of giving me grouping uh, according to purpose of what i'm doing here now anyways we are good with the names uh, here it's all published now let's go to the data flow and do something uh. so if i go back here i have have this uh, blob storage and in this blob storage how you have a container and uh, the container name is called input uh, so input folder right there and input folder has a file called input file uh, file dot text I can go to edit and see the value so as you see here I have first name last name address uh, so these are my first name Amir dash uh, comma Shazad Sukh and uh, Dave's last name so these are my first name and last name what I want to use I want to use this uh, file in the data flow then use the f and full name function to concatenate and generate the full name so i'm going to go back to my data factory here i'm going to go to author then go to the data flow and let's create a new data flow here i'm going to select uh, go ahead and actually start the uh, data flow debug because we need that otherwise we'll not be able to preview the data here so it's going to start real quick uh, now i'm going to go add source and uh, in the source uh, if you guys know i have to create a data set uh, i'm going to go to new and it's going to be blob storage that's just fine and it's csv file that's correct and i have to select the linked service uh, so I can select or I can create new. I'm going to go ahead and create new so you will see what the information is required. I have to provide my subscription here and then provide my storage name. Nothing you know, fancy. This is just a you know, linked service or connection to my blob storage. Once I do that, I can go and select my uh, container and then I can, can select my file now yes the first row has header and uh, yeah import the schema so it's uh, going to import schema and it has three columns uh, let's preview this uh, data you know and uh, see how it look like uh, let's go ahead and refresh it's taken forever actually to bring the data i was not expecting that anyways i have first name last name and address but now what we want to do we want to use that function that we have created uh, I'm going to go ahead and use a drive column here and uh, let's use drive column and in drive column we are going to add that name uh, sorry uh, full name and I will use uh, that function we just created uh, so I'm going to call this one full name that's a new drive column I'm creating and in the expression I'm going to go right there and uh, then uh, I'm going to find uh, this uh, functions uh, so let's uh, go to the functions here and uh, let's look all the way uh, right there i'm trying to find that function i created remember fn um, so let me actually go right there sorry i was totally uh, not on this uh, functions actually data flow library functions click right there and you will see that function sitting right there okay so it's called fn full name and now you know that uh, we have to provide uh, the input parameters right there are two arguments uh, so we are going to go back to the input uh, schema and here I want to provide first name comma last name so I'm going to click right here select first name and then a comma and then uh, select last name now that's all done because these are two arguments is expecting so once uh, it's going to concatenate but add uh, the space between them as we have uh, written this function with the space so now hit the save and finish and now we can go ahead and uh, preview our data so i'm going to go to the preview again and uh, refresh okay here is our full name and you notice that uh, the function has been used and here we have it's concatenated our first name and last name whatever the arguments you provide so it doesn't have to be always first name and last name but in our case uh, we use the first name and last name column and in concatenated and also left the space between that so that's according to the definition of our, of our function that we created so this is how you will create the function then use uh, wherever you need to use in the data flow 
Now let's go back uh, to the manage tab again and let's uh, study a little bit more. So here you can actually create new libraries. So if I want to go ahead and say maybe uh, calculations, you know, so I can uh, do some calcs, uh, you know, calcs, whatever name of library and inside that library I can create a okay it has to have at least one function so you cannot just create a library without function so we can create the libraries and then create functions inside now also see right there you can uh, if uh, I'm here I can uh, export so see right there I can hit right there and it will export my library so I'm gonna go ahead and export and then I show you the definition so in a folder show in a folder double click names and you see that the name of the library right there and then uh, you have this uh, name that's a description we gave and uh, then it's called the UDF library so user defined library now there is a function called fn full name that's uh, and it expect, accepts uh, two arguments uh, both string type uh, and then uh, it is gonna uh, um, get that as a string, uh, output as a return a string uh, and give uh, us uh, this uh, output uh. so uh, this is the function code uh, you can see right there this is called the script lines uh. so once you have more uh, functions uh, you will see them uh, here under this uh, file uh. now I can go ahead and import as well so right here if we will say import and the same import from file or import from code so let's say import from file now we go to the downloads that's where my uh, records are uh, this file is sitting names and open and now import name is not unique provide a unique name remember that our library is a names and it's already there I'm gonna go back and folder and let's call this one uh, something new okay new because the once uh, the library name change it can have different function with the same name so import again import from file and then just uh, select that and now it's in uh, provided the name is not unique <laughs> ask me why because I did change yes I did change uh, the name of the file in the folder but uh, did you guys notice that I am uh, not a smart person so here name uh, is just names uh, so I have if I want to change I should change inside uh, so here and then maybe description is okay I believe description is not gonna create problem so I should change the library name inside the code not just the file of that uh, but I'm importing uh, so this tells you sometime uh, you are not the smart person you have to just keep working hard and uh, try to learn see also we learned that this library contain function names that already exist in the other library so that's also one uh, limitation I did not know about that too so let's go back again let's uh, do some more changes so we open it and now instead of fn full name I'm gonna go ahead and say concat values concat okay so that uh, will always uh, also change the name of the function uh, I actually uh, this is a surprisingly uh, I was thinking if your library is different then inside the function can be different but that's not the case I'm sorry this is also first time I'm playing with this uh, so okay now that's great uh, now you have different library name and inside that library name you have different uh, uh, function name so it work uh, so to import uh, the library you have to have a set new name for library and also the functions inside uh, they should have unique name uh, so you can go ahead and publish and uh, that should do it uh, okay so no sync in uh, data flow um, okay that's I can close this is done actually so I can uh, just go to data flow and uh, here is said uh, you know giving us a uh, problem for the sink and uh, I'm gonna do one thing I'm gonna close this uh, because I don't want to pay the money for that and then just uh, discard this uh, now I will publish my changes and uh, see if that works okay our changes are published now and we are all good if I go to manage here I have two libraries names and name underscore new each one has one function and I can use wherever I need to use in the data flow so you don't have to maintain the code inside the each data flow actually you will just create the functions here and then use them wherever you needed and if you need to make a change here um, with the calculation you can always come to the function and make a change instead of making change in the hundreds of data flows 
goes uh, uh, for a small change uh, so it is one uh, way actually it helps uh, uh, you can create a function use it and if logic is not working uh, you are not going back uh, and forth with the data flows uh, and making change in each of them when publishing uh, you will be just making change in one uh, uh, function and uh, that should be used across uh, Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and uh, I hope uh, you like my effort and uh, share with the friends. Uh, this is a great way to learn uh, and uh, do some experiments uh, as I always say that uh, because I also learn a lot of things from experiments uh, and uh, you saw that uh, I was also doing some experiments and made some mistakes but we learned something out of that. Um, thank you and I will see you guys in the next video.